All right, shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, as always, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, Wahabar Chakwadash, which Yahweh, that's the Heavenly Father's name. Yahweh Shai, that's whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, it's his true name. And the Rachakwadash, that is the Holy Spirit. And I also want to give double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all you brothers out there. And uh just want to do a quick lesson. Uh, that's a little skillful adding, little response, all right, to this video that I saw that's done by the elder Yashwamba. And um, basically, you got these Christians that are out here and, you know, they're trying to, you know, push that whole vibration that, you know, America needs to return to its, you know, Christian values. And, you know, these, um, in particular, these white, you know, uh, uh, um, you know, Christian Americans or American Christians, right? You know, they're, they're noticing how, you know, this place is circling down the drain, you know? And with that being said, you know, they're being affected now by all these things. You see, I'll say this when, you know, you know, if this was 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago, these Christians wouldn't have been saying anything. You know, life was good, right? Life was good. You know, everything was business as usual. You know, everyone was celebrating, you know, the uh, every holiday that would come up. You know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, Valentine's, you know, so on and so forth, right? You know, they they, they they were able to buy all sorts of things. Live in luxury, you know, have, you know, uh, you know, vacation homes. Go on all these, you know, uh, vacations throughout the year. Have, you know, you know, several cars, right? But see, now that these things are getting stripped from them, now they're saying, oh, you know what? We need to return to Christian values. Then also, see what's happening is, in particular with this, you know, alphabet agenda, all right? Since it's getting force fed to everybody, no matter where they, you know, turn, you know, uh, uh, where, where they turn, basically, they bump into it. Be at the work uh, a place, or right? it could be a customer. It could be they the, the their children's teachers, and to them they didn't sign up for these things, but really, you did. Because look, when wickedness was taking place, all right, you know when all these atrocities were were happening, you didn't say a thing. You didn't say a thing because, you know, it was benefiting you. You know, when America was, you know, rape, rob you know, rape, robbing, pillaging all these different lands. You were benefiting off of it. You were living good. But now since these things, like I said, are affecting you, now you want to turn back? Well, it's too late, like the Elder Yashawamba mentioned. And really, it's the scriptures because, you know what, ultimately... This place, America, was destined to be destroyed. All right, it was destined to be destroyed, and, and, and you, 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 like I said, in particular, man, you, you white Christians, hey, you're through. Okay, Trump isn't gonna save you. All right, America's not gonna be great again. It's done. America hit its peak. All right, in the 1950s to the early. I'll say this, the, uh, it peaked during the 1950s to approximately the mid-1960s. That was the peak of America. And ever since then, it's been circling down the drain. But really, hey, look, these last four years, it, 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 it's done, man. All right, ever since, you know, the pandemic hit, this place has fallen so drastic, it's unreal. You know? 
We are really living in the last days of this place. Okay. All right, but let me get this. Um, I believe the Eliyahu Wamba actually brought this out too. And I'll get this. This is um, Habakkuk 2 and 12. All right, and I'll say this. God never blessed America. You know what I'm saying? It's always been cursed. Starting from its inception. Yes, it got built up to be this great kingdom. And that was because of, uh, 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 for prophecy's sake. But ultimately, it has an expiration date. Okay? And that expiration date is about to hit. You know? But let me get this. This is Habakkuk uh, chapter 2, verse 12. Woe to him that buildeth a town with blood and establish a city by iniquity. You see, destruction is coming to this place because it, it, it's been, it, it, it was a city that was built on blood. All right? Rape, robbery, murder, ill-gotten gain. You see? So this place was, was eventually going to fall at some point. Or is going to fall at some point. You see? It's, it's never... It, look, let me get this too. In Jeremiah. No matter what you try to do. Alright? This place is not going to be healed. It can't bounce back. Alright? It, it, it just can't. The Lord is slowly, you know, tearing this place apart. And you see, you, you, you people are... Are upset about it. Alright. Because. You know. You're, you're like I said. Starting to get affected. You know. Life is becoming hard. For an American. You know. And in particular. You lower level Edomites. Alright. You know. So called. You know. Uh, whites out here. See. Th these elites. And those of the upper echelon. They're living good right now. You know, they, they have, you know, all sorts of, you know, properties all over the world. You know, they can enjoy vacations. They don't think about, you know, the, the daily struggle. It's you, you know, like I said, you, you, you average white Joes out there. They got to go to the construction site. They got to go to the, you know, the office. All right. They, 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 they have to go to. You know, the, 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 the you know, uh, um, you know, the, 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 the next, um, what do you call those, uh, um, you know, the, the, the next gig and all that, you're the ones who are, who are feeling it because you can barely pay your mortgage, your rent, you know, basically the basic necessities. And that's why you know you're you're all pushing this vibration now, all right. <laughs> Pray for America. America's through, man. This is Jeremiah chapter fifty-one, in, uh, verse seven. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand, that made all the dr the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And you see, th this was once a golden cup, okay. You know, that elevated society. You know, that that, that, that that influenced this whole world. To do what though? To do wickedness. You see? To put these to put this whole world in an evil mindset. And you see now. Everyone has felt the uh, uh, the repercussions of being, you know, wicked. People aren't, you know, enjoying it. You see, people are, are noticing how destructive being, you know, uh, 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 evil is. But it's too late. These plagues are, are are being sent, and you and you can't take them back. Lord willing, we'll get there soon. That's in Second Ezra, the the sixteenth chapter, I believe. The plagues are sent. Al Bashim al Shai 
it, it, it's about to annihilate this this kingdom. All right. Let me keep reading. It says, verse eight: Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her take balm for her pain? If so be she may be healed. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. All right. There's, so there's nothing you can do. I I don't care if you you pray. You have new inventions. You 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 know you 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 push the best movies. It, it it's a wrap. All right. There's nothing you can do. And it's evident that this place is done. Everyone sees it. From your from your average Joe Blow out here, okay? To all these economists, to all these, you know, uh, Christians. All right? To 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 of course the prophets. Everyone knows that this place is done. You see? All right? So your your actions are in vain. All right. Let me see if I, uh, you know what. Let me see if this. Here we go. This is Sirach chapter thirty-four, verse one. The hopes of a man void of understanding are vain and false, and dreams lift up fools. You see, you, you since these since you people out there, okay. A void of understandings. Alright. Your hopes are vain and false. It, it, it has no significance. It's never going to play out. You see? It's never going to play out. It's never going to happen. It doesn't matter. What you think or believe in. If it ain't according to the scriptures, it ain't on point and it won't come to pass. You see? But you you people, man, you refuse. But you know what? I'll say this. It's the Lord that, that's got that spiritual mental block on you. Because I was going to say you, you people refuse to acknowledge the Heavenly Father. But you know what? The Lord wants it that way. So he can show his power. All right, hey, this is the Lord's movie. He's the one controlling everything. Not you peons, you 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 mere mortals, you you insignificant, you know, little worms. No. Hey, yeah, yeah. How about Shimei Al Shai is the one that that's, you know, calling all the shots right now? You see. All right, and let me get this because I mentioned it in that second Ezra 16. Um, man, this is uh, second Ezra 16 and 8. It says, The mighty Lord sent it the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? Exactly. Hey, look, the scriptures say in Isaiah 45 and 7 that the Lord creates good and the evil. All right? So all these things that, that you're seeing in this world, all these, you know, horrific, you know, um, natural disasters, that's of the Lord. You see all these, you know, you see all this warfare going on, that's of the Lord. You see all this hate, envy, and murder in this world? That's of the Lord. And they're plagues. Okay? Destroying this place. Because the Lord is not down for this wicked society. Okay? <laughs> Let me jump down. This is uh, 2 Ezra 16 and 14. Behold, the plagues are sent. And shall not return again until they come upon the earth. You see? The, the, these plagues aren't going anywhere. They're already sent. 
And, and it's going to uh, uh, hit this place. Whatever the Lord has in store for it. So all this, you know, you know, sighing and crying and, oh, we, we got to pray for America. It's done. All right. Anyways, your prayers are an abomination to the Lord. All right. It's an abomination to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. I got two precepts. This is in Proverbs 15 and 18. The sacrifice of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord. And you see, you, you, you American Christians, your sacrifice is an abomination to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. What good have you done? What? Feed the poor? What'd you feed them? Oh, some salami, some bologna, oh, pork. Lord hates that. You go to, you go to uh, 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 these churches. They got a female a uh, 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 teaching. That's against the scriptures. They got a grown man at the altar with the baby face, clean shaven. That's an abomination to the Lord. So guess what? The Lord is not dealing with you. Okay? The Lord is not dealing with you. You you people say that, that, that we the Israelites aren't the true people of the Lord. It can't be a black guy. It can't be a Hispanic. You know, a Native American man. No, they, they, it, no way. Not them. That's demonic. That's the hey, hey, that's wicked. You're trying to is, is, is say that you know th th this is not your true heritage. No, you you're a nobody. You, you you're just a you know you're just irrelevant. All right. Hey, the hell with you. How about them apples? The Lord's gonna deal with you. Yeah, you you especially you Christians, man. You even my Christians are gonna are gonna feel this, man. All right. But let me keep reading. But the prayer of the upright is his delight. Here's the uh, second um, precept. Proverbs 28 and 9. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be in an abomination. And you Christians don't want to uh, 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 listen, all right? You don't want to hear the laws of the Heavenly Father. You still want to celebrate Easter, which that's not in the scriptures. That word Easter and Acts, just to, just, just to make a point. Because I know you Christians might be like, whoa, it's in the book of Acts. Yeah, you know what? I know it's in Acts. And you know what? It's really supposed to be Passover. But see, it, it, you know, these particular, you know, uh, um, officials, all right, throughout the years, these, you know, uh, 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 these Roman Catholic, you know, you know, officials, they switched a, a, a few things around, and then they decided to, you know, add Easter. All right, you know, to push that whole, uh, 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 all that paganism. You guys celebrate, you know, uh, uh, Easter, and you have your little kids running around collecting eggs. You know, uh, 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 uh so, so, some did some damn eggs, and, and, and guess, and, and it's so demonic. Bunnies don't even lay eggs. <laughs> then right now you're about to celebrate Halloween. Majority of you Christians are are gonna go to church and then get into some witchcraft because that's all that this is. This whole uh, 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 Halloween celebration. It's just, you know, celebrating witchcraft and wizardry. All right. Wickedness. You see? Lord ain't dealing with you guys, man. Lord's going to destroy America. All right. That's it. This is his determination. This is his will. All right. But um, you know, I'm gonna end this lesson. You know, I just wanted to do a little quick response, and um, you know, hopefully whoever was listening was edified. 
With that, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Also, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to all your brothers out there. Shalom.